Hello again, hope everyone is doing well. Today's video is going to be a mail day of sorts. I finally got that package of cards. It's five cards and I paid $750 for the lot. So without any further ado, I think I'm gonna get into it. First of all, this is a bit of a freebie. So first of all, shout out to the seller. His name is sportscards23 on Instagram and that's sportscards with a Z. So he threw in these Bulldogs cards because um, he knows I'm a Bulldogs fan, so I appreciate that. Nice cards. I'd love to have the Geelong one from this year. That's the Hawkins rookie, actually. So, But thank you. Uh, and then next, let's get into the, the cards. Uh, they're relatively high-end, so I'm, I'm looking forward to showing them off in this video. I've been waiting a while to have some footy cards in hand. But the first one is the Travis Boat draft pick signature. This one is from... 2007 Supreme. It is numbered out of 450, number 264. So hopefully you can see the card all right. It's got a bit of shine. That's not on the card, obviously. That's just on the um, top loader. But Travis Boak, probably a top three all-time port player. So I'm stoked to have this card. I made a video a long time ago when I had this card. I thought, I think I bought it back then for uh, $40 maybe, and then I resold it for 130 about six months down the line when he played his 300th game. Uh, but I'm very glad to, to get this card back. It's the kind of card that will definitely have some historical value, I think, especially for uh, Port supporters. He's a very um, big figure in the Port Power story of the last 20 years. And from the purchase, from the 750, I've allocated about $100 to this card. So overall, I wanted to actually spend about 650 on these five cards, but uh, the seller got me up to 750. I still think it's a, a good deal, and I'd uh, be interested to know what you guys think or like. But yeah, this one, about $100 for this card. The next card is, I was going to leave this till the end, but here we go, uh, the Joel Selwood from the same release, 2007 Supreme. This is a pretty hot card at the moment, uh, mostly because Selwood has just retired on the back of a premiership and a great game for himself. He definitely went out on top. He didn't uh, fade away like some other players do at the back end of their career. This one, obviously 450 as well, number 337. And this is the first card that got me onto the deal. So. I'm in America, the seller was in Canada, and I saw this, this card online, and we were able to strike up a deal. And this is the one that really uh, pushed me over the line and made me willing to spend that a bit extra money. I've allocated uh, $175 to this card in this deal, which is pretty much the going price. I think they're going for about $200 on eBay. So once you take out the selling fees, I'm paying pretty much exactly market value. And that's the story of this this purchase, I think. I'm paying pretty much market on all these cards, which I don't usually like to do. I like to pay about 80, 70, 80% usually. Uh, but for the quality of cards, I'm, I'm very happy to get them. And the, the signature as well, they can, especially on this release, they can be a bit um, shoddy. You can see there's maybe some very slight uh, lines through it. You'll be able to see on the ne next card even more, I think. But yeah, very uh, high quality cards in, in great condition. On to the next card from the same release again. So not a bad draft this year, actually. Three definitely Hall of Fame players coming from this draft. This one is Jack Rewalt. This is what I was talking about with the, the very faint lines you'll see on this release sometimes. Uh, but yeah, this isn't uh, bad at all compared to some others I've seen. Let's look at the number, number 170 for this one. Uh, going back to the Selwood actually is pretty funny. I don't know if it's just this one or all of them, but you see has lined up in the Syndicat side from round a question mark. So obviously they didn't proofread very well on this card. But back to the Jack Rewalt. It's cool that they, they mentioned Nick on the back of the card and how he's uh, connected. And that's, that's one of the beauties of draft or rookie cards, in my opinion, because when they re wrote this blurb, they had absolutely no idea that Jack was going to turn out into a high-end player himself. And yeah, I just think it's really cool to get cards from when people are just starting out, especially cards that the player has personally touched, personally signed. So yeah, I find that really cool and it increases the significance 
of these kind of cards for me. This one, I've allocated 175 as well, same as the Selwood. You might be thinking that's a really good deal because on my uh, recent uh, eBay lists, it's been selling for more like 300. But to be honest, I think 300 is definitely overs for this card. It's numbered out of 450. Rewalt isn't as high on my list as someone like Selwood. So um, yeah, this is, although it might seem like a decent deal, this is definitely at the higher end of what I was willing to pay. Moving on to the fourth card, we've got a different release now. This is 2004 Ovation, and it's Sam Mitchell's top prospect card. This one is numbered out of a, a weird amount. I think it's like 428 or something. Does it even say here? It doesn't, but if, if you look this one up, I think it's about between four and 500. I think it is 428 or something random. But this is the placeholder for Sam Mitchell's DPS. Obviously, it's not a classic draft pick signature. This is from 2004. Mitchell was in the 2001 draft. And as you can see from the back, he uh, played in 2002 and then ended up winning the Rising Star and breaking out in 2003. So this is his first release where he was included. And this is his first a signature card obviously from that release so this is his rookie signature and in my eyes this is yeah his equivalent to to a dps seeing as he never got one this card came on my radar about uh, six months ago i'd say i'm always looking at old classic players and sam mitchell's probably once again like jack rewalt he's not top 10 of the last 20 years but he's definitely within uh, 10 to 20 sam mitchell was probably about 12th on my list so um, I started looking up his cards and I love a good quirk and the fact that uh, this is his rookie signature, a legit one from his first uh, select release is really cool to me. And, and the design of the card as well has really stuck out. If Sam Mitchell can do well as the Hawthorne coach, that might add another level of collectability onto this card, but we'll have to wait and see Hawthorne's teams not looking too flash for 2023. But now onto the final card, and it is Nick Rewalt's draft pick signature from 2001. This card has been on the channel a lot. This is actually my third copy of this card. All the other cards, another reason why I really wanted this and I was willing to pay up a bit is because I don't own any of these other cards. I own two of these already, and this will be the third, but the other ones I don't own. Um, like I said, I used to own the boat, but I ended up selling it. So. That's awesome to me as well, adding four cards at one time. Uh, it's an opportunity I definitely didn't want to pass up. But this Nick Rewalt, absolute classic card, criminally underrated, I think. I allocated $125 to this card, which is the most I've ever paid for one. Uh, but at the moment, they're probably around $150 card. I think $125 is definitely a fair and strong price. Uh, but they're becoming less and less uh, common to see online. They are um, out of 770, which you might think is a lot of cards, and especially these days, it, it seems like a lot of cards compared to the Platinum DPS and the Gold and the Coppers from something like Optimum 2022. But for a player of, of a stature like Nick Rewalt, and this is his only rookie card, there's definitely 770 fans of Nick Rewalt, and there's going to be in the future um, that want to own this card and even beyond that there's going to be lots of these who which are stuck in people's old collections or uh, never got pulled or got lost along the way so I, I'm not worried personally about the pop even though it's not a great thing I'd rather it be um, more rare but yeah I'm not worried about the pop long term so let's do a quick recap I think I forgot the price on one of the uh, one or two of these but yeah 125 for this 175 for the Sam Mitchell, so it's 300 all up. I'll make sure I got my figures right. 175 on the Jack Rewalt, so that's 475. 175 on the Joel Selwood, that's 650, and 100 on the Travis Boak. So that all makes sense. Uh, $750 all up. Let me know if you think I got a good deal or a bad deal. I'm stoked. To have these cards and I can't wait to get them back home and put them in some nice one touches for display. So that's all I've got for today. Hopefully the rain in the background wasn't too loud. 
but uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.